July 20th, 2022, the Marine Corps suspended all training in Marine amphibious combat vehicles, except in protected waters or on land. The day before, on Camp Pendleton's Southern California beach, an ACV rolled over in high surf and a second became disabled. Marines and sailors on board abandoned both ACVs and were all safely accounted for with no serious injuries, according to the Marine Corps. The 10-foot-tall ACVs are rated to carry 13 passengers and 3 crew each, and they can travel at 6 knots in the water and for up to 14 miles at sea. The ACVs are the Marines' newly introduced primary over-the-beach personnel carriers, replacing the Vietnam-era assault amphibious vehicles. AAVs were phased out in recent years and were at the heart of a deadly 2020 accident that killed 9 when an AAV sank in California waters. The July ACV incident and subsequent training restrictions confined most ACV training to Area 21 of Camp Pendleton, the Del Mar Boat Basin. Eight weeks after the pair of ACVs foundered near Pendleton, the Corps greenlighted the armored behemoths return to the sea, with some restrictions. The new guidance, announced in September, bars the use of the personnel carriers when seas have a significant breaker height of 4 feet. Built by BAE Systems, the vehicles are supposed to operate in conditions up to those of Sea State 3. In Sea State 3, ACVs would face lightly rough waves, cresting up to 4 feet high in open water, plus up to 9-foot plunging surf coming into shore. The new guidance affects the crews of 90 ACVs fielded by the 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion. It also affects the instructors and students training on the 36 carriers at Assault Amphibian School. 